is Abby and this video is about taking your rabbits safely outdoors. So sorry if I sound really close to the microphone. My dad's running a chainsaw somewhere over there and the chickens are clucking so it's kind of noisy. But today I decided to take them outdoors because it's a nice temperature and it's just really nice out. So firstly I think that rabbits should be housed indoors but I also think they should have some time outside every once in a while. So first I'll go over the things you do not want to do outdoors with your bunny. You never want to just take your bunny and just like have it on the lawn with nothing protecting it. Even though you're right there, who knows, your bunny could get scared and they run fast. They could just dart away and then you might never see your bunny again, which would be very sad. One good thing is having an X-Pen to take your bunnies outdoors. If your bunny is trained for a harness, you could also take your bunny outdoor like that, but I don't do harness training because of safety reasons. Another thing, never take your bunny out if you use pesticides on your lawn because that will pretty much just won't be any good for your bunny. Chemicals will might kill it, so make sure if you use chemicals, do not do but that. If you do, maybe you have one one spot that you don't use chemicals somewhere on your property so maybe you could do that and if you live in the city obviously you can't take your bunny outdoors to the grass anyway if you have lots of raccoons it's not a good idea to take your bunny outdoors because if your rabbit eats grass where your the raccoon has been it can be really bad I forget what it's called but I've heard there's no cure for it and if your bunny gets it then it will die and always make sure to check the grass. If it's springtime and you're taking your bunny outside, you may not want to put them where there's buttercups because buttercups are poisonous. And if they're trying to eat a clover and they accidentally eat a butter buttercup, that wouldn't be good. So there's lots of things to be cautious of, but now I'll just talk about some regular things. So when you take your bunny outside, you want to make sure it's completely safe. You want to be always careful of um, predators of the sky and predators of the ground. If you have dogs, you may want to tie them up so then they won't come and scare your bunny. And also, you don't need very much stuff in your rabbit's playpen when they are outdoors. The only thing I do recommend you putting is a hidey house so then if they get scared, they have somewhere to go. But besides that, you don't need any hay or a litter box or things like that because they can just go to the bathroom on the ground and they don't need hay because all they're gonna do is eat grass anyway. You may want to have a water bowl but I'm not gonna be out here for very long so there's no water bowl. So one thing that you may want to do is put a cover on your pen if you have a little bit of a shorter pen or whatever you're using. And also make sure your pen is a sturdy pen and maybe you even want some pegs to drive it into the ground so then your bunny won't escape. And I put a cover on because my X-Pen is only 30 inches tall which was my mistake. Storm was just little and I was like he's never gonna jump over 30 inches but 30 inches if you get getting an X-Pen do not get 30 inches get at least 36 if not 42 or 48 because 30 I still kick myself for it, but it's just way too short. So I put a cover on it, and this is just a sheet with some binder clips. So some reasons to bring your rabbit outside is it gets to eat a lot. Your bunny will love to eat all the clover and grass, and they'll just have a field day. Another reason I like doing it every once in a while is fresh air in your room, you know, especially in the spring, your bunny will love to have some time outdoor because it's been inside all winter and it just needs some fresh air from all that dust that has built so up. So some things you may be wondering about, like what if it's a really warm winter day, say in the 40s, and you have this spot that you really want to take your bunny outside. So I'm going to talk about temperatures now. So the best temperature range is I say 50 to 65 Fahrenheit is like the best and always make sure when you take your bunny out that you have some shade. Here, right where I am, the sun is blocked by some trees and also I have the sheet, so it's kind of double shaded. Because you may be surprised to find that your rabbit doesn't really like to be in the sun when you're out there. If you have half shade and half sun, you'll probably realize that your rabbit is more in the shade than the sun. Another guideline to follow is do not put your rabbit through more than a 20 degrees temperature change. This could put your rabbit in shock which would not be a good thing. But say if it's 60 in your room and it's 45 degrees outside, now that would be fine. Rabbits do not function well in temperatures over 80 degrees so I would not recommend taking your rabbit outside if it's over 80. I wouldn't take my bunnies outside if it was over 75. 
Also, if it is a hotter day that you decide to take your bunnies out, make sure you do provide water. Next thing I talk about is snow. Say if there's a really warm day in the winter where it's inside that 20 degrees change and you want to take your bunny outside. Now this past winter I did take Storm outside while there was still snow on the ground. It was just really, really warm day in January. I have no clue how it got that warm. But one thing that I made sure to do, I covered most of the ground in like cardboard and some like towels. So if you do decide to take your bunny while there's still snow on the ground, make sure there's lots of places where your bunny can get off of the snow if it wants to. And one thing never ever to do is toss your bunny in the snow. Also, when you take your bunny outdoors, you may want to take them out in a carrier. This way they're nice and secure as you're walking and they won't, won't slip out of your hands by accident. Another thing that I like doing is putting them right next to the house. It's not like right next, there's about three feet in between. It makes me feel a little bit more secure about having them outside and not like wide open in a field or anything. And finally, even if your bunnies have like a cover and are pegged into the ground, never leave your bunnies unsupervised because bunnies are very unpredictable. So that's it guys, I hope I have covered everything for this video. Um, if I didn't, please let me know in the comment section down below and if you have any questions, please ask and I'll answer them. So yeah guys, thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye! So now in this middle section, I'm going to be placing this green one. Now I'm going to be placing this pink pink and brown plaid one down in the back here. And it looks like that now. Now the last fliz I'm going to place is going to be up here. And now you will want to place your Heidi houses.